Do you struggle with negative self-talk and the pressure to be perfect all the time? I'm going to discuss with you in this video the number one mindset shift that I've discovered help stop these behaviors and start living your life fully. Now, yes, this is primarily a hair system channel, but that also encompasses personal development and personal improvement. And that's why I think this video is going to be really important for you guys. People are generally very hard on themselves. There's a lot of negative self-criticism going on, inner critic dialogue, and certainly perfectionist patterns. It's actually very common, especially in the Western world, when you look at the corporate world, jobs, that kind of thing. People want things done to the nth degree. They want it done perfectly. They want zero mistakes, all of that kind of thing. However, the long-term damage that it can do internally is never really talked about, and it's never really measured. But it can really lower self-esteem. It can lower self-confidence. It can lower our belief in ourselves and it can actually make us less motivated. Now, a little background about me. I have an inner critic, like most of us do. I'm a recovering perfectionist and I'm a recovering people pleaser. Why do I say recovering? Because it's not curable, but if you implement this strategy regularly, it will help you get better and better and better at noticing those patterns and dropping them. Because trust me, guys, it will really help you embrace life and actually enjoy life a lot more. Now, the number one mindset shift is starting to embrace self-compassion over self-criticism. I'm going to tell you exactly how you can do that in five simple steps. Now, step number one, you need to identify the source of the self-criticism. If you're anything like me or like I was, pretty much 90% of your thought patterns are self-critical. So you just need to start becoming aware of those patterns kicking off in your head. Now, where are they coming from? Are they coming from a place of perfection? Are they coming from a place of fear of failure? Is it a belief that you're not good enough? Just start by noticing those patterns. You don't have to do anything. Don't get hard on yourself, especially when you notice them. Just become I'm aware of them. Something that I used to suffer in the early days of wearing a hair system is I was so critical all the time about the hairline, like multiple times a day. And I started with that. I started noticing when it was coming up. And that's where step number two comes in, which is challenging it. Not in a negative way, but challenging it and replacing it with something more positive, something more realistic. And I started with no hair system is perfect and I am scrutinizing my hairline way more than any other person that I've interacted with today. Now, step number three, set realistic expectations and reward yourself if you achieve those. Now, by reward yourself, I don't mean go out for a party every time you've minimized your self-criticism and improved your self-compassion. And by self-compassion, I don't mean like being really lovey-dovey and spiritual. It's not about that. It's just about using more positive language, positive language which is more realistic to reframe those harmful thoughts. Step number four, and us guys are so bad at this, is basically practicing self-care. You know, maybe taking ourselves to a sauna or getting a massage or going out somewhere in nature that we really enjoy. Doing those things, not all the time, but regularly enough so that you actually feel you're getting the benefits of it. And lastly, step number five is just focusing on the present moment. Focus on it moment by moment. Yeah, it's not easy. Yes, it takes practice. I still struggle. But the only thing we can control right now is this very moment. So that one mindset shift that can change everything is learning to embrace the concept of self-compassion over self-criticism. It doesn't need to be airy-fairy. It's just about being more realistic and framing that negative self-talk in a more positive way. Now, if like me, and I'm still going through this, guys, but a heck of a lot better, if you can start implementing these five steps daily, I can guarantee you'll start being able to feel like you can live life more fully and you'll feel less inadequate. Now, if you found this video helpful, guys, I know I usually make hair system content, but I thought I'd go a little bit off tangent. If you're enjoying these kind of videos, let me know in the comments box below. Please give it a thumbs up. I'd love to talk more about mental health stuff as well and how you can improve that. It's a journey that I'm on. It's something I've struggled with in the past. It's something I'm coming through. So if you resonate with that, let me know in the comments box below. If you're a hair loss sufferer and you want to get hair back on your head, I can only, I highly recommend Levivid Hair Systems. They're the ones that I wear. 15% discount code on a stock system. It's popping up on the screen right now. 
I did a video a while back about perfectionism and hair system wearers. So if you're interested in that, you might want to check that video. It's popping up on the screen right now. If you feel you might be a perfectionist and you think it might be a little bit counterproductive for you, hint, it is. It really is. Check that video out right now and I'll speak with you very soon. Bye for now.